Hello and welcome to the Ladies in Waiting podcast, the five minute refresher. We're so glad that you're here with us today. And today we are talking about something that everybody has experienced and we're going to give you some keys of how to beat it. And that's worry. Today we are talking about beating worry and Christy and I and our studies came across a formula, truly a formula. Yes. You know, it might not be scientific. It's a biblical formula (laughs) found in Philippians 4, verses 5 and 6. So, Christy, let's go ahead and read that aloud with the people today. Okay, I got the uh, NIV. uh, Is this 5 and 6 or is it 6 and 7? Hold on. 5 and 6. Okay. Okay. Let's do five, six, seven. Actually, I'd like to do all three. Let's do five, six, seven. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. I got NIV. So let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. And That's NIV. And I've got the New Living Translation today. Uh, verses, uh, once again, Philippians 4, verses uh, 5, 6, and 7. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Mm. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Amen. So that's the formula. We all worry. We all are anxious. NIV said anxious. New Living Mm -hmm. Translation said worry. You know, same thing. We all get anxious. We all worry. Yes. Yet it says right here that the key is prayer. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So if we take the inevitable worry and we put with it prayer, what did this scripture tell us it equals, Christy? It equals peace that surpasses all understanding. Or as the New Living Translation said, God's peace. Yeah, there which we go. God's exceeds, peace. Which exceeds anything we can understand. Mm. It's crazy peace. It's God's peace go. and it's crazy peace. Yes. And that's the formula we need to think about as we move forward in our life. As we said, that that worry, anxiety is inevitable. Mm. Yet if we take worry plus prayer, prayer. equals peace. Amen. And so that is definitely one kind of uh, response that we can have to worry. But Christy, as we were really thinking about this and talking earlier, we also thought about how we can be proactive. There is a way we can kind of decide to live our life that helps lead to less worry and be more proactive. Christy, you want to talk a little bit more about that? Uh, We can just take proactive, you know, like you said, proactive actions. Uh, instead of like waiting for things to happen, we can be proactive in what we do. So if like, for example, uh, if you know you have a full day of work, uh, even though you're tired, instead of getting out of the bed at the last minute, you know, get up early, Yeah. Uh, spend some time with the Lord. And it really comes down to doing things on the front end to relieve yourself of stress on the back end. Yes. Uh, if you know you have to be somewhere at 10 a.m. and you know it's a 30 minute drive. Don't leave at 930 because anything can happen as far as, you know, (laughs) traffic or whatever. Try to leave as early as possible. So you have time to relax, be in the car, get there 10 or 15 minutes early. But just think ahead of time. What can I do in my everyday life that Mm -hmm. will give me margin? That will give me peace. What can I build? What kind of habits can I build? And that's one of the things. Starting the day with the Lord in the morning. So he plans your steps and orders your steps. And giving yourself grace and margin in how you conduct things that you need to do in the course of your day. What about you, Dee? What What are your thoughts? I would agree exactly. And what you're saying is you're you're really purposefully trying to cultivate a life of peace. Yes. When you add more peace to your life, it'll lead to less stress. And if you you know take that formula backwards and you do peace plus prayer, right? Ooh, come on. Peace plus prayer 
guess what it equals? Less worry, less worry, less worry, less stress. Wow. So there's two like formulas. That. There's two formulas we can get today. <laughs> First of that being uh, worry, which is really inevitable, plus prayer equals peace. Yes. More worry, just add more prayer, and you'll eventually have more peace. But if you truly, as you said, Christy, cultivate that life of peace, what you're going to see is peace plus prayer. Yes. Equals less worry. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'm going to write that down. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you everybody for joining us today for the five minute refresher. We hope that you truly are refreshed in Jesus today and go forth and be blessed. Bye-bye. <laughs>